time for the final encounter. But first, we got a scroll to sell, so... Because, yeah, why not? Let's just go ahead and unload it. How many does it make that I've got? 32 out of 46. I don't know if that's more or less than what I found last time. Got full life, got full magic. Got a lot of air. I mean, seriously, this armor can stand up to the convective heat of magma, lets them go underwater, lets them survive getting catapulted halfway across the land, but... If he gets hit by a snowflake, he's fucked. Alright. No, 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 no. I want the armor of chaos for this final encounter. Yeah, that's gonna come in very handy for the Enchantress's final form. All right, and without further ado, or is it a do? Uh, why don't I just a do all of you a favor and just get right to the game? Yeah, ooh, spooky and ominous. Oh, I hate this part. This is why I hate this part. Yeah, I just want to just fucking fight Enchantress. Let's get this game over with. But no, I got to do this bullshit first. It's a nice little touch homage to Zelda Link's Awakening Eyes and A Link to the Past with the tiles and shit coming at you. But still, do we really need that shit? Ugh. Okay, note to self, don't do that anymore. Just keep the damn phase locket on and use it when necessary. Ugh. Let's get that back. Oh, fuck you. Oh, come on! I mean, after this, you're all clear. You're ready to fight Enchantress, but no, we gotta do this bullshit first. Ugh! There's always something. Just be ready to use the phase locket at a moment's notice. Oh, again, the same way. Okay, I'm strongly considering cutting out the first part of this video, because... Oh, man. Yeah, this is the thing I find most annoying in this game. Not the auto-scrolling parts. Not Polar Knight digging up spikes and shit. Yeah, how do you like me now? I'm just gonna do this. This is a little nerve-wracking. Come on. You want, you want to go, you just want to fight the final boss, but no, we gotta do this shit first. Feels like you're taking big leaps of faith here. Ah! Can I 
can I get get some hearts from this thing? No, guess not. I mean, come on. I've been playing Castlevania too long. You see a candle on the wall, you want to whip it. You whip it real good. Please be the save point up ahead. Yes! Fuck it. Let's go. And here we go. Hey, Malifa Shokatana, or whatever the fuck your name is. And you, if, as if it wasn't obvious by now, Enchantress is really a possessed shield knight. Which is why the Black Knight was trying to keep you from getting to her, because he was afraid you'd end up killing her, because he kind of had a thing for Shield Knight, but no, she kind of got her rocks off with little Shovey instead. Let us dance together into the abyss. Well, she's one of the classier final bosses in a game, that's for sure. At least she doesn't block. Oh, shit. Now, the first time I played against her, I had absolutely no idea you could deflect her shots. Now, might as well just try for the magic, because... Because, in the second form, the anchor, along with just about every other magic item you can use, is won't have any effect whatsoever. Alright, restore some of the platform. She just refuses to be anchored. Alright! Yeah, that's that's another reason I like using the armor of chaos. That certainly helps. Ah! Oh, shit! Didn't know you could destroy the... Destroy it yourself! Ah, so close. Half a life point left for her. But okay, we're good, we're good. She was done. Ow! Okay, worth it. It repaired part of the platform. That repaired more of it. Oh, whoa! Oh, shit, shit, shit. Don't do that. Don't do that. Whoa! See, the armor chaos is very useful against the Enchantress. And now this time, you gotta catch Shield Knight for reals. Like I said, when it comes to graphical style, it's not how big the pixels are or how high-res everything is, it's what you do with it. It's like, that was a very touching scene. It takes true game-creating mastery to be able to evoke that sort of thing, those sort of emotions. That sense of pathos. It's just old-school 8-bit style graphics, even though it's there's no sprite limits, no flicker like on an NES, and it's in widescreen. Still. Alright, here we go. That's the true form of the Enchantress. And... 
Like I said, you got dick. I mean, the anchors will do absolute dick. This is what- Ah! This is what you gotta do. Ah, shh! Normally, you just bounce off of Shield Knight Shield and then try to do the Pogo Vault thing, but with the Armor of Chaos, you can just do that. Oh, sh Come on, Shield Knight! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah. He's very helpful. This reminds me of the final boss in Wind Waker, where Zelda is an active participant and helps you out. Like I said, this game puts a nice, fun spin on rescuing the damsel in distress. Oh, shit. Give me a chance to get over there, Shieldy! Alright, here we go. Nice! Oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh! Pow! And he goes mother brain on you, drains all your life with a breath attack and shit. There's Black Knight for whatever reason. And it looks like Shield Knight's fucked all over again. But don't worry, she gets better. And Sarah Jessica Parker comes out to take a look at the Tower of Fate crumbling. And like Dracula's castle, after he gets his ass whipped good, it goes bye-bye! Okay, there's the hat shoppers and... Yeah, I want to see my face in it, King Knight. Oh yeah, can can dancing again. Hey, 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 hey. Isn't that chicken like plague nights? Like mini game thing. Oh well. Uh, the guy from Bioshock is having a sad. Okay, Plague Knight. What are you? What are you doing as you wait for me to try out your segment? Oh, filling in for Severus Snape. Okay, that's cool. Uh, transgender stuff. Eh. If there's a, as if there isn't enough contrary because of the bathroom thing. Oh yeah, these guys. Well, not those guys. The guys you fought on the overworld. Oh uh, yeah, those ninja-looking shogun monger the fuckers. Oh uh, yeah, they're... Oh uh, yeah, they're toast. Okay, what's Propeller Knight doing? Oh yeah, that's right. Out of all the order, no quarter, he's the ladies' man. And Tigger Knight's still just falling on his ass. Or with his ass up, rather. And Polar Knight's just, just standing there, just looking, looking at the horizon like, 
Like, I don't know, like Proto Man or something. <laughs> And Black Knight singing, there, there, I hauled your worthless ass all the way out here. You better thank me. Sequel hook, perhaps? Yeah, and we get Mega Man style credits, because why not? Okay, yeah, it was Jake Kaufman, not... What was I thinking Jeff Kaufman before? Manami Matsumi... I think that was the guest composer who did some stuff for Mega Man, but contributed a couple tracks for this. I'm not sure. Mark Bowles, of course, he's the guy from Way Forward Technology. He's the guy who created... Well, well, Shantae. I guess those are the guys that did the translations for... I wonder, is this game available in Japan yet? It absolutely deserves to be released in Japan because... It pays homage to all the classics that came out of Japan. I mean, it's gotta go there. I mean, Japan's missed out on stuff. Silent Hill Homecoming didn't go over there, and... Kid Icarus of Myth and Monsters wasn't available there until, like... Downloading shit for the virtual console or whatever. Sony Santa Monica, gee, I wonder why they're listed. Yeah, and rare, because again, Battle Toads. I'm not saying much here, because hey, it's just the Christ, and I'm just enjoying the music. bad did I do this time? Oh yeah, and it provides the like, a rundown like the end of A Link to the Past. I think that's two and a half hours less than my last run through. Getting better, 83%, not bad. And of course the obligatory, thank you for playing! A winner is you! Yacht Club Games, now I want to know what they're going to make next. I mean, Shovel Knight 2 is kind of a no-brainer, but what else can they come up with? Told you she'd be okay. She lost her shield, though, but then again, so did Captain America at the end of Civil War, and he was able to still... Well, no, I don't want to spoil it since the movie's still out, so... Let's just take in this heartwarming scene. Aww.
I mean, that, that just makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. The end, motherfuckers. Yeah. Definitely one of the best games of the modern era, even though it throws back to an older era. This this game just owns. It is just required playing. But maybe I should just... I don't know. I think this is the newest game I've bothered to play. Maybe I should get into something newer, like... I've been seeing pictures about this Overwatch thing. That Matrix looks cute. Maybe I'll check that out. In the meantime, I gotta decide what to LP next, so just stick around. Like, God of War Chains of Olympus, the original Metal Gear, East 1 and 2 for the TurboGrafx-16, those are all on the short list right now, but I'll decide on something soon.